This is the Media Mark Weather Show. This is special winter weather coverage. Another major winter storm is upon us. Let's get right into viewer sent in photos here from Lucas D from Linden, Texas. Take a look at some of these photos. We've got uh, some, he went on a road trip across the area. And as you can see here, you got some very nice clouds here. Not many leaves on the trees, of course. This time, this far south, the leaves are pretty much off the trees. And uh, we can take a look at some of these photos here. Very reminiscent of a late winter day across the area. Very nice photos, picturesque. And uh, take a look at some of these photos here. He's got some more photos from his area. And you got some flower photos here. And uh, sign of early sign of spring here. We're starting to get to that phase where London, Texas will start to get some spring. And uh, take a look at some of these cloud formations here. Very nice, very interesting clouds. Even you see the sun rays coming down through some of these cloud decks here. But uh, very nice patterns. And of course he finishes it off here with a very nice sunset here. Very obscured sunset, but hey, this time of year we'll take any kind of sunset we can get and it looks very nice against that cloud structure. So thank you Lucas for sending those in. We also have a photo that was sent in by Robert Jason Stone. This is actually of an area in the Great Lakes region highlighting the lake effect snow season that's been going on across the area and uh, as you can see uh, we got uh, Michigan's Kenawa Peninsula. Take a look at this. Look at all this snow against these doors here. Snow uh, doors with the, you're going to need more than a shovel to get out of that. So far they've had they've had hundreds of inches of snow so far this season. Uh, well over a hundred. We're top, probably pushing an excess of 150. Very serious blowing and drifting. And uh, photo was by Jolene Sam Jenkins and meteorologist Kevin Craig from Fox 17 up there in Michigan's Kenawa Peninsula at the school in South Range. So, wow, take a look at that. Some areas have just seen way too much snow. Speaking of snow, let's get right on into it. We're gonna focus first out here on the West Coast. Look at this in California, much beneficial rain. You got even three, five, maybe six inches as far as south as San Diego. A lot of mountain snow, three to five feet excess plus. And here across the West Coast, this is some really good news. We're gonna to continue to get pummeled by all of these low pressure systems that will move in back east here. This is where we have trouble starting. And you can see all that precipitation arc that is going to be with that overrunning. Let's take a look at that overrunning. I'm going to fast forward right to the middle to latter portion of the weekend here. Look at this setup. We got this stalled out frontal boundary that will be moving across the southern Great Lakes, Ohio Valley, Mississippi River Valley. This sets the stage for Gulf moisture and this will overrun across much of the Ohio Valley and extending up towards the mid-Atlantic and portions of southern New England where we could get a significant snowstorm out of this and if we put this of course out here out west before I put it into motion this low pressure system track continues and it looks like later next week we could even see a very strong low pressure move into California very interesting weather pattern we're in here back east we move the maps into motion and the low pressure really gets organized by Monday early Monday that's where we'll see the low pressure moving right around that Mason Dixon line area north of that frontal boundary that's where we're going to see the snow sleet and freezing rain now what am I thinking for accumulations and ice totals this is the map that I'm outputting as the preliminary this is the first call map uh, of course this is really early in the forecast period so this is subject to some deviations over the next several days however I think the biggest area of snow of course will be on the northern side of the system just north of that frontal boundary closer to the stationary front where the low pressure system rides along that's where we'll see the sleet and freezing rain accumulations and they could be quite great tenth to a quarter of an inch with some isolated areas well over a half an inch possible from the Ohio Valley extending into southern Pennsylvania and portion, maybe even portions of the Appalachians. We'll continue to watch that. Snowfall totals at this point I can pretty much guarantee a wide swath of six inch plus across this general area. And Let me stand off the screen so you can see 
your general forecast snowfall amounts here from upstate New York, Pennsylvania, heading over towards the Ohio River Valley, that's where the lion's share of the heaviest snowfall access, especially along that Interstate 80 route and just southward and a little bit northward. That's where we'll see the heaviest snowfall totals. That's going to do it here at Media Mark. Don't forget to like me on Facebook and Media Mark. Subscribe to me on YouTube and Media Mark.com. Here's a five day outlook for my hometown viewers Susquehanna region of New York, Susquehanna region of Northeast Pennsylvania. Look at these temperatures here. We're going to remain pretty much below normal. Low to mid 20s for highs, maybe upper teens, and then we're going to be lows near that zero or below. It's towards the weekend things get interesting. Saturday night into Sunday, snow will develop probably two to four inches by Sunday afternoon, another three to five possible Sunday night into Monday. I will fine tune those amounts as, as the mo better model data uh, becomes available to me. However, it looks like we are in for a long duration snowfall event here extending from late Saturday night through late Monday night. So get ready for that here in the Susquehanna River Valley of New York and Pennsylvania. That's going to do it here at Meteomark.